Nigda, I'm so happy to see you. Thank you so much for being here with us. Everyone wants Thank to you. know about GPOD HH, about your organization in Calcutta, and what you are doing for World Hearing Day. That's right. Thank you very much, Jodi, for giving me this opportunity. It's a pleasure being here. And I'm so glad to see you and hear your voice. Thank you. After a long time, yes. Mi salute, uh, te dice di sentirmi. <laughs> well, my name is Snigtha, Snigtha Sarkar. I'm from uh, West Bengal, Kolkata, India, the eastern part of India. I'm a parent. I'm a parent of a deaf person. Uh, my <laughs> daughter, she is now uh, an adult, yes, and uh, she's doing a PhD. So Snigda è, um, è presidente dell'associazione uh, in Calcutta, in India, uh, ha, è genitore, è mamma di un adulto che adesso sta studiando per um, PhD, dottorato, sì. per dottorato. Sorry, I have to interrupt you every now and then to translate what you're That's saying. That's okay, I okay. can understand. Yes. Okay. So our group, Onnesha Kolkata, the parents group, we believe that Every deaf child has the right to grow up with other children, just like them, and grow up to be contributing citizens of our country. That's what I believe as a mother, that's what we believe as a parents group, and that is what we are working for. La sua associazione crede che ogni bambino che nasce con una sordità ha il diritto di essere, uh, di, di convivere con altri bambini che hanno sordità come hanno il diritto di essere, eh, di convivere in una eh, società inclusiva. E quello è quello per il quale lei combatte nella sua associazione a Washa. Yeah. And I'll, I'll now come to our uh, global coalition of parents, which Jody has already mentioned. Uh, the global coalition of parents of children who are deaf or hard of hearing we call GPOD, is an international collaboration of parents groups dedicated to promoting improved systemic protocols and practices which encourage informed choice and empowerment of families with a deaf or hard of hearing child throughout the world. Questo, lei adesso ha spiegato la coalizione globale che eh, è composta di diversi paesi, tutti che, che lavorano a livello sistemico per far sì che i bambini hanno i diritti ai quali, cioè, dei quali meritano. GPOD was formed in 2008. It began with a small group of parent leaders who decided it was time that parents stood up and demanded that parents be part of the process wherever policies and systems were developed for children with hearing loss. È stato formato in 2008 proprio a Cernobio, in Italia, era un congresso NHS. Eravamo solo pochi associazioni all'inizio e adesso siamo diversi. E noi volevamo un posto al tavolo. Era allora che i genitori partecipavano a tutte le decisioni che riguardavano i nostri figli. We have members in many countries, from New Zealand in the East to USA and Canada in the West. And we are constantly looking for new members to add to our strength to advocate for children who are there for hard of hearing and their families around the world. Abbiamo eh, associazioni in Nuova Zelandia, Australia, eh, Canada, Stati Uniti, Finlandia, in diversi paesi del mondo e stiamo costantemente cercando altre associazioni di eh, fare proprio come facciamo noi per eh, richiedere i diritti per i bambini in tutti i paesi. Over the years we have been closely associated with the FCEI, Family Centered Early Intervention, right from its inception in 2012 till date, being part of many of their endeavors. Uh, noi siamo parte della FCEI, eh, un intervento centrato sulla famiglia, che è un congresso che succede ogni due anni. E noi facciamo parte di quello per essere sicuro che i nostri diritti vengano osservati. We allora, Snigda, ci potresti, uh, could you please tell us uh, what you're doing, what your association is doing for World Hearing Day in India? Yes, of course. We are uh, 
doing a number of activities this year as we have been doing since 2014. So this is our eighth year of celebration of World Hearing Day. And this year it is all the more important because we have the global launch of the World Report on Hearing. So we had a press briefing yesterday. We had a, a, an awareness cycle rally in the morning today. Then we had a, you know, the tableau that is a decorated vehicle you know, flying through the city of Kolkata and talking to people, creating awareness within the mass about what hearing day. Then we had a Facebook live event where we talked about World Hearing Day and World Report on Hearing. In the evening, uh, we joined a webinar where we again talked about the same thing. And now I'm with you here, Jodi. <laughs> so you've been, you've been very you. busy. Praticamente è l'ottavo anno che loro eh, celebrano eh, la giornata mondiale dell'udito e quest'anno, come sappiamo, è ancora più importante perché c'è il lancio della World Hearing Report. In base a questo hanno organizzato una serie di attività yes. che durano sei giorni, compreso un Facebook Live, uh, una conferenza stampa, attività per l'associazione, le famiglie e tutti i bambini. Perciò, come come vedete, come in Italia, anche in India, sono molto attivi a promuovere questa giornata molto importante. Allora adesso ringrazio Snigda e la saluto. Snigda, thank you so much for being here, for making us global, and uh, I love you, and e I will be lavoro. talking to and, sono molto impegnati. It's unbelievable what you're doing, and keep it up. And thank you again for your presence here. Thank It's really much. amazing. It was a pleasure meeting you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. <laughs>